2.3 million red-tailed hawks call North America home, but one of these birds in Tennessee is now changing the way scientists think. Our Harry Sullivan introduces us to Angel, the all-white red-tailed hawk. I was like, oh my gosh, that's that's a, a leucistic red-tailed hawk. That's crazy. Meet Angel, the red-tailed hawk. Angel is leucistic, which means the partial loss of pigmentation, unlike albino, which prevents all coloring. While red-tailed hawks can be seen all across the country, this one is rare simply because it's still alive. Back in, you know, I don't know, early 2000s, scientists, uh, conservation biologists would say that leucistic or albino, albino animals cannot exist in the wild. It would be very rare for them to, to survive, very much survival of the fittest. Nature is not kind. Connor O'Brien is a project manager and biologist with Window to Wildlife who installed a camera on Angel's Nest. Having no camouflage just is, is just really bad, but Angel somehow has been able to, to thrive. She has been able to figure out how to hunt, even though uh, it's a bit easier for prey to see her coming. A big reason Connor thinks that Angel is thriving is love. She's had to rely more on her mate too to really help with that, especially during the nesting season. Uh, Tom has become an excellent hunter. He catches significantly more than she does. We've seen we have a lot of blue jays that just harass uh, the red tail, specifically Angel, when she's in the nest. And last season, every 10 seconds, Blue Jay was hitting Angel's head uh, all day. Uh, but when Tom gets in the nest, the, the Blue Jays just leave, leave him alone. That love makes Angel's survival even more rare, changing the way scientists have thought about leucistic birds. Uh, scientists don't think that they could mate with their own species because species can't identify them. So Angel is shifting that narrative and giving us significantly more data on um, leucism. Angel's giving back in more ways than one. She's actually produced a few offspring in the last four years, a love story that defies the odds. In Knoxville, I'm Harry Sullivan, WVLT News. You can keep up with Angel on the Window to Wildlife page and see even more hawks and animals that Connor and his team have caught on camera there. Also a big shout out to our photojournalist, Christopher Covert, setting that up for Harry. Well,